welcome back to the video. I've been kind of busy lately, so we haven't been able to make a video for well over a week, I think. So anyway, here we are again. And today we finally got a little bit of time. So we've decided that we're going to go and explore the lovely little spa town of Luzo again, um, which is in the Coimbra district. And it's... Um, famous for its Luzo spring water and we have filmed the the spring area before but we haven't actually focused on the actual little town itself you know the streets and so on so we just do, we're gonna go and walk around a little bit because I realized that we've never really actually walked around in there we just drive through get the water and go back you know and that's it or go and walk up towards Busaco up the hill so anyway we're gonna do that today and so yeah it's a beautiful day but it's going to get really hot now it's almost and, uh, we're going to make the most of it now so okay let's go come on <laughs> look at that old house over there some of the old houses are really quite something but you know there's a lot of houses here in portugal that are just falling apart which is a little bit sad <laughs> look at some kitties down there. Look at them. They're so sweet. And what they're doing there. They're just playing. There's a little chapel there that's kind of cute. Looks like it's open. I wonder if it's still used. A lot of things have changed in the villages now as the old people have passed away, taken all the old traditions and things with them. So there's kind of a bit of a strange, empty feeling now. These places used to be very lively in the old days. Animals, people. Nice views. shops over there they're kind of these little what do you call those little cabin kind of things they're usually closed throughout the year and then they open up at um, during the tourist season it looks like they're selling their little knickknacks and things and there's a sign here bread with chorizo which is kind of a alenia alenia means um, what do you call it uh, like um, wood cooked or wood roasted or whatever it is and chorizo is like a sausage kind of thing and palm means bread so i'm guessing they're selling some over here but there's nobody around <laughs> it's like people have all gone no more tourists these days hey, Mimi. Hey, Mimi. anyway yeah people are selling little knickknacks um some of them are probably locally made i'm not sure They do some business here, you know. There are people kind of milling about, so there's 
like a little sweet stand over there, some kind of local sweets. Look at that crazy little dog running around, it's so sweet. Now, okay, this is where the, the spring area is, where people come to get the water that we filmed before. But this is more of the tourist season now, so it's starting to really pick up with people, with visitors. This looks like an interesting little area, cafe kind of thing. Let's kind of sit in there. Little shops here. There's one selling wines and honey and all kinds of things. And the usual little gift shops selling purses and hats, postcards, fridge magnets. But again, this would be such, you know, an even nicer place if it wasn't for traffic. It was more like Venice. You could just walk around, you know, without having to worry about cars. It's actually a little marketplace. Today is Sunday. So that's why these places are closed. A lot of things are closed on Sundays here in Portugal, even Saturdays, but more so Sundays. Even in these tourist areas, which is surprising. I thought they'd be open on weekends, at least during the tourist season anyway, in these um, popular tourist areas. Okay, now this is the spa place, Luzo Spa. I've never actually been in there, but they've got like all you know, the usual things they have in spas, massage, you know, and treatments with water therapy and all kinds of things. Nice old buildings here, look at that. And you look around here in Luzo and you see all these really, um, you know, just very original looking old build buildings like that one over there in the distance. And this one over here, for example. But so many of them are actually sitting empty now. And this used to be like a little spa town that a lot of people used to come to for all kinds of therapies and things, the, especially the rich in the old days. So you get, um, look at this, look at those houses up there. So you see all these, uh, I guess they're mansions, aren't they? Yeah, and this all used to belong to wealthy people coming down from the cities, um, you know, just for the healing waters. There you go. Look at this place, it's amazing. But it looks like it's practically abandoned, doesn't it? Look at the architecture. That little kind of addition up there. I mean, look at that. It's just so much creativity in the old days and buildings. But again, you know, these were people with money, so. Oh, this makes a difference, doesn't it? Look at this little place here. I mean, this must have been, what, a water fountain or something? That tells you something here, actually. Let's go and read it. There's a sign up there. Grand Hotel, church. Piscinas means swim swimming pools. Camping? Oh, okay. It's a campsite. Um, let's see what this is, then. I don't know. Oh, okay. So this is where I'm just, uh, I just have to read it for a moment. Anyway, we have to go back because there's a there's a dog coming towards us. And we have uh, Linny with us. <laughs> anyway, that was a place for where animals used to drink water, from what I could understand. Probably horses, buffalo. I mean, eh, not really buffalo, but um, you know, cows and. Those kind of animals that used to come through here in the old days. We're back outside this amazing place here. And just says something about it here. Let's see. Uh, it is the office or something, or building of. Uh, I don't know. Some <laughs> my Portuguese is a bit rusty right now. Um, this is something to do with some offices that are associated with the uh, water of Luzo, spring water. 
If it's like the old administrative offices or whatever. It looks like it's abandoned now, sadly, from what I can tell. Anyway, this was from 1925, I guess that's where, I guess that's when it was used. Um, don't know how long for, but anyway, we just noticed something even more interesting, which is some dear kind soul has been putting food and water back here. For the, for the stray kitties and dogs, which sadly is still all too common here in Portugal. This thing here, I think, is a hotel. Bob, isn't this a hotel? I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. <laughs> it's got the sort of big thing there that people, so what would you call that? A skyline? A skylight? I don't know. <laughs> it's a big tunnel that people walk through. It's got this weird tunnel thing that people walk through. And I don't know what it goes into exactly, but it reminds me of those big hamster cages. <laughs> Anyway, is it a hotel? I'm not sure. Probably. Apartments? Okay, we finally found out what this is and we think, actually, have we? <laughs> okay, here finally is a sign. It's the Grand Hotel of Luzo. Okay, I'm not sure why the sign is so tiny uh, and why you can't really read it very easily, especially if you're driving along here. But yeah, that's the Grand Hotel of Luzo. So it's kind of an interesting building. I wonder how old it is. Anyway, it's nice in its own way. There's a cafe here. It looks pretty uh, busy. A lot of people. We're walking a little bit uphill now. Those little there, houses up there. Well, we're just kind of walking uphill a little bit here, just around the town. Look at these sweet old houses. Look at that little garden area. Just really sweet. These nice yeah. buildings here. Look at that over there. Wow, look at that big house. That looks abandoned. How sad. Because that must have been so beautiful once when it was all painted and you know, cared for, lived in. So these were the homes of the wealthy people who would come here. Look at that one there definitely quite luxurious back in the day, wasn't it? These little gardens and things that people who live here have. It's really cute. Growing their little veggies and things. Anyway, I think that's that's its name there. Casa Miralinda. Casa means house. Miralinda house. Wow. I hope somebody fixes it before it falls to the ground, you know. That's the issue. I'm going to go up to that area where the house is, but you can't get in. Huh. Wow. Well, why did that car get in there? <laughs> Cute little dwellings there. And local people. It's like, you know, they used to build little dwellings in every nook and cranny, you know. Um, and I love that. It's so creative. And it's just not done anymore, is it? I'm not sure what this is. Oh, a pharmacy. Yeah. Just a regular pharmacy. Isn't that strange building up there? I don't know what that was. Yeah, Bob was saying that this pharmacy here that we were just filming, it's got like it's written in so many different languages and we're not sure exactly why, but <laughs> I didn't think a pharmacy was that fascinating, but never mind. 
At least everybody knows what it is. <laughs> oh, there's another little place in there. Look, little, cute little um, places just tucked away behind buildings and things. I love that. And there's the other side. We just walked on one side and there's the other side over there. And we're gonna probably go up that little hill up there and see what that building with the pointy turret is. I'm not sure what that is anymore. There's a hotel up there too, a hotel Eden. And there's a thermal spa area where we just were. Okay, Bab just went into this place. It's called the Flower of Luzo and it's a bakery. And he went to get some of these breads called dikurs, which are right here. <laughs> now we're headed over to kind of the other side over there, past the spring water area. This is a festival on, where's the date? In the Nova of Muinos, that's the name of the place. Uh, anyway. <laughs> It's a festival and they're going to have lots of food and things. If you can read that. I think it's already gone, isn't it? Uh, anyway, whatever. <laughs> oh, noisy car. It's like a classic car. Anyway, this is here. This building or whatever is... It's a hotel doesn't look particularly interesting on the outside so it's a more modern building probably quite comfortable though we've never stayed there so we don't know what the prices are or anything else next to it is this other hotel a boutique hotel right there and that's actually a restaurant right there across the street it's called the Imperial Imperial Restaurant, Imperial Hotel, or something, B and B or whatever it is. And then it also has a restaurant. Is okay. this another boutique hotel? Oh my goodness! Seems like a lot of hotels here. So kind of walking up here, just looking to see if there's anything more interesting to film. Okay, so just a few other nice old buildings up here. And there's the hotel on the other side where we were. Is it Imperial Bar? Grand, yeah, grand that's it, not Imperial, that was down there. Anyway, we're gonna start heading back now because we've got things to do and it's already late. So that's kind of the little tour of Luzo town and there's more you know over this way and so on there's actually more there are all these little roads and things back alleys and things that you can explore it's quite sweet it's not as busy as it used to be before covid there was a lot more life in these places than there is now but anyway we like it well that was a nice little walk through Luzo town again so it's always been one of my favorite places um, and I guess partly it's because of the you know the spring water and, and just walking uphill here the Busaco which is just kind of up here you know up the hill and it's just kind of special it has a special energy Although in the summer, I will say it does get pretty crowded. So that's not always pleasant because of traffic and parking. But um, again, like I said, though, it's not as busy as it used to be. So there's a plus side to that. <laughs> anyway, so see you next time. Bye.